Welcome to Max Legion. In today's news, 8 PCG and B4 ships exercise in West Philippine Sea. Utilizing 8 capital ships of the national government, the Philippine Coast Guard PCG, and the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources B4, have stepped up the conduct of comprehensive maritime exercises in the West Philippine Sea WPS on April 24, 2021. Crew members of participating PCG vessels, as well as PCG manned BFAR vessels, have started their intensified training on navigation, small boat operations, maintenance, and logistical operations. The BRP Gabriela Silang, OPV 8301, and BRP Sandongan, MRRV 4407, started their maritime exercises near the Bajo de Masin Lock yesterday, while the BRP Cabra, MRRV 4409, BRP Malapascua, MRRV 4403, and PCG Man B Far vessels commenced their ship interoperability training near the Pagasa Island last week. On board their respective vessels, other PCG personnel, composed of lawyers, medical doctors, nurses, rescue swimmers, weapons, communications, and information systems technicians, and other maritime specialists, also undergo lectures and drills on manual plotting, piloting, firefighting, and basic life support. PCG spokesperson, Commodore, Armando Belillo said, the maritime exercises, led by the task force Pagsa Sanai, are intended to achieve operational and logistical efficiency to optimize the utilization of Coast Guard manpower and assets through a harmonized command and control and supply chain. We are supporting the whole of nation approach in securing our maritime jurisdiction, especially the efforts of the National Task Force for the West Philippine Sea NTF WPS, to undertake maritime security, maritime safety, maritime law enforcement, maritime search and rescue, and marine environmental protection roles in our country waters, the Coast Guard spokesperson added. Aside from the West Philippine Sea, said capital ships will also perform maritime exercises in the Bataan S group of islands, Ben Hum Rise, as well as in the southern and eastern portions of the Philippines. Staying true to its humanitarian mandate, the PCG is also planning to conduct medical and dental missions among local residents and coastal families in the Pagasa Island next week. On April 6, 2021, PCG Commandant Admiral George V. Arsabia Jr. has directed the activation of Task Force Pagsa Sanai with Vice Admiral Oscar Andona commander of the PCG Maritime Security Command, as head, as well as Rear Admiral Ronnie Gilgaven and Rear Admiral Alan De La Vega as decision makers on matters of policies and operations. The Task Force Pagsa Sanai aims to intensify and harmonize the capacity building and sustainment efforts for PCG personnel and assets deployed in 15 PCG districts, specifically in safeguarding the Philippine waters Philippine Coast Guard 